Greetings, beloved. We are here at the Prophetic Oasis and we welcome all to come for a refreshment from your dry, barren time of the day or the season that you're in to bring you hope and life, direction, secrets and mysteries to bring you a refreshment and a restoration to your spirit man. At the oasis, there is a green, a shade. It's a spiritual place of refreshment with living water. It's a miracle. It's something God provided in the middle of your barren wilderness. He placed an oasis with living water, with water that bubbles up deep, just as our spirit man within our belly has fresh water and bubbles up and springs forward to strengthen and to bring us life. I'm Linda Carroll from the Big Island and Karen Welsh and I, we collaborate to release our gifts, to release the good word that the Lord has asked us to release as his messenger. We are so delighted to use our giftings to bring about life and to encourage, to bring hope. And today, beloved, we provide a foot spa available at the oasis. Beloved, this is a deep and powerful word that touches on many areas and it's personal because it is asking you some questions and allowing you to step into that work that you're commissioned to do. So, beloved, we thank you for every subscriber to our YouTube channel and Instagram. Oasis Words Hawaii is where you can follow me and find some written words. We appreciate your like and your subscribing and your comments. We've been so delighted to receive comments of miracles and the unexpected and healings and marveling at what God does virtually, supernaturally. And so we rejoice with you. The excitement is building for the kingdom of God to break through and he wants to refresh you at the oasis to rain on you. Even now, beloved, there's a mist, that moist air that comes and it comes to saturate and to revive us when it's hot out there, when there's heat, there's opposition. And beloved, he wants you to be revived when you're parched and thirsty. Beloved, this is symbolic of your quiet time, of that secret place. And we have a soaking session playlist, which is intended to bring you a deep intimacy, a peace, a renewal, a love affair with Holy Spirit, with Jesus, with Papa God, not as a slave, not as a servant, but as a son, a daughter, a family territory, a family room establishment that you are girded in your identity, girded in your identity, rooted and grounded, strong so that when you go back out to homeschool or you go back out to fulfill your work schedule, to be self-employed at home for the kingdom, that you are at peace and girded, strengthened for success for the kingdom. Beloved, it is the secret place. It is 
the oasis place in your spiritual life that will gird you, that will strengthen you for the journey, for the mission, for the commission, that the call upon your life. So beloved, we're talking today as you settle in to be refreshed, to be made new at the oasis under the shelter of the Lord's wings. Psalms 91, that we are safe and secure under his covering. Beloved, you can get a pedicure here at the oasis. It's a foot care. It's a foot spa, beloved, with fresh water. Whew, thank you, Lauren. Where our feet are shod, like in Ephesians chapter 6, where our feet are shod with the gospel Whew, of peace. Whew, thank you, Lauren. You can be strengthened at the oasis and in his mighty power as we put on all of the armor. Who, as a warrior, that we put on his armor and standing with your feet. This is a foot spa. It's a pedicure. It's a standing foot. Firm, <laughs> beloved, who against all the strategies of the devil. We're here caring for our feet, beloved, at the oasis. Whew. So that you know what you stand for. So that you can stand firm. That you're not on quicksand, but you are on the solid ground that you stand your ground, that you use your feet, that you take care of your feet, beloved. Remember, we are not fighting against blood and flesh enemies, flesh and blood people, beloved, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. So therefore, we have to put on all the pieces of the armor <laughs> and we can resist the enemy in the time of evil. Whew. You may feel that's all the time. Whew. Beloved, we get equipped in the oasis we're shaded, we're protected. We have living water. Whew, thank you, Lord. So as we put it on, whew, we can resist these attacks, spirits of intimidation and fear, lies and deception. We will be able to resist. Whew, he has shoes for you. He wants your feet, your foundation, to be well cared for. Whew. So you can walk out your calling even in your old age, beloved. For at the oasis, at your pedicure, beloved, in the fresh water, in the living water, in the renewal of your foot health, your foundation, your ankle strength in Jesus' name, that you may be able to walk. Whew, thank you, Lord. After the battle, after having all your armor on, be able to stand firm. So we're going to care for our feet today. Beloved, your feet need to be on solid ground. We need to grow in our maturity, in the word, in the truth, in every area so that you know what is true and what is right. And you can stand your ground. God's given you a place. It's a physical, spiritual, tangible place. It's very important. And you may feel you're not 
prepared, that your ground is very small, your position in your household, in your marriage, in your relationships, in your family of God. He wants you to stand your ground, Whew. putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. But verse 15 in Ephesians 6 says, For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. The gospel, the good news of the gospel. Whew, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Gospel of good news for shoes, for the groundwork, for the foundation. There's peace from the good news of the word, of the gospel, of the promises. That is the first, the bottom, the floor area, the groundwork, beloved. And there is more, beloved, but we are going to care for our feet whew, to be shod, beloved. And of course, the shield holding up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil, putting on salvation as our helmet, Ooh, and holding, taking the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Allow yourself to take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, I love verse 18, Whew. as we're getting equipped for life's battles to be successful. Pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. In the foot spa, beloved, whew, beautiful are the feet of the one that comes with kindness. Oh, beloved, your feet will be beautiful when you leave the foot spa, when you Get your pedicure completed at the oasis where you can walk and not grow weary, run and not faint, even though young men whew, get weary. Beloved, regardless of your age or your health or your position in life, beloved, whew, he is shodding your feet as you receive the good news, as you receive of his instruction, of his secret, of his mystery. He's equipping us for the battle of your life, for the battle of your legacy, for the battle of your destiny. Beloved, let's agree together that we want to Allow him to remove those calluses, remove those warts and corns and growths and dry skin and get our cuticles and everything in order. No hangnails and nails trimmed, Lord God. Beloved, let us together have a pedicure, have a foot spa, have healthy feet, a healthy foundation, so that those who see our feet coming declare that how beautiful to see you, how beautiful 
to welcome you. Lovely is the presence of the one who comes in kindness. Kindness is part of your pedicure as we do a foot soaking sometimes when we gather for worship and praise and learning nuggets of truth from the Lord. And it's a very humbling time for both people, just as when the Lord washed the disciples' feet. And sometimes we feel led to wash each other's feet and to pour a blessing over the person in the salon chair. We call it, it's a prayer chair. It's a place where you are the focus when we have you sit in the chair. And we may have a sister at the foot, at the feet to massage or to bless you, prayer over you, over your life prophetically as we massage your feet or to speak a blessing. And beloved in Romans chapter 10, whew, thank you, Lord. Whew, verse 15, and how will anyone go and tell them without being sent? That is why the scriptures say, how beautiful are the feet of messengers who bring good news. Who? Not everyone welcomes the message or believes the message, but how can they know unless someone goes and tells them it's a mystery, it's a secret, it's a truth, beloved. And how will they preach or share or give the message unless they are commissioned and sent for that purpose, just as it is written and forever remains written, forever remains written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news of good things, beloved. Whew. Thank you, Lord. Would you like to know that your feet are beautiful? That you don't have to hide your toes? Whoo! That your kindness, that your good news, that your good tidings, that your glad tidings, that your testimony of God's goodness, which is the spirit of prophecy, are welcomed, are lovely, are a gift, are a spiritual spa, a foot spa, a pedicure, a spa treatment. When we are obedient, when we walk in what he calls us to, when we go, when we care for our foundation, when we stand firmly on the ground, of our family tree, of our family, when we touch the widows in our family, when we reach out, when we intercede, when we speak life, when we send a favorite scripture for them as the Lord prompts us, which is good news and good things, beloved. It's an adventure, beloved. And the Lord said, we're commissioned to go. That's with your feet, movement, action. We need our foundation. He is our firm foundation, our sure foundation, our solid rock. Who but beloved, we must be his hands extended. We are his hands and his feet to go, to go to nations virtually or to give. Let your fingers do the walking. Beloved, we can gift, we can give, we can have forever postage stamps. I've been enjoying with Karen to send healing cloths and to send 
encouragement cards to those that are hurting and broken. That is our assignment, the hurting and broken. Beloved, to bind up those that have been rejected and hurt and to bring you back to life, that resurrection of your dreams that were shattered and broken when you felt that all was lost and that your fruits of your life were dead. And God says, no, he is resurrecting. He is bringing back to life. He's breaking chains and opening prison doors. Thank you, Lord. You are so good. Beloved, stepping in to the pool of life, coming to him, bringing your friends to him that need a miracle, where the Lord says, take up your bed, take up your pallet, take up what you're laying down on and walk. Don't wallow or sleep or disconnect in your sorrows, beloved, in your defeat. He said, stand up and walk. Stand up. Stand on your ground. Stand your ground. Stand in. Know what you're gifting, what you're commissioning, what your calling is. And step in. Step in. Thank you, Lord. I was going to read what I saw what the Lord showed me when I saw the color pink. I have color words that are on Oasis Words Hawaii Instagram. God is so good. He gives revelatory pictures and words. I am constantly with a pen in my hand. If that's you, if you love to write, have your journal. Just ask God. He said, ask, knock, and seek me. Ask me questions, and I will answer thee. And so, beloved, I encourage you. I encourage you to develop your relationship with the King of Kings, King Jesus, and befriend Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome the angels that come to bring heaven to earth when you declare his word and his promises. Beloved, step into all the armor so that your feet can be shod with peace and good news, that you know the good news is that Jesus died to save us. He took stripes to heal us. Whew. He saves, he heals, and he delivers from wrong thinking and wrong attacks. You are not too old. You are not in such poor health that you can't manifest a huge amount of fruit. Beautiful are your cards, your letters, your text, your emails to those in your extended family, those who were in your sphere of work influence or in the past, beloved. Everyone desires to acknowledge that kindness. This is the key to the color pink. It's a kingdom key he revealed in the color pink. I saw the color pink and thoughts of tickled pink and laughter and joy came to my spirit, my thoughts. And laughter and joy are yours. <laughs> you will rejoice and smile, laugh and take joy. Times of sadness and discouragement are coming to an end. A new season of strength through joy is yours. When I saw the color pink, I also saw put on cheerfulness as a garment. Pink is like the new skin of a baby. It's a new start, newness. 
all is available for you to walk in. Whew. Step out with cheerful attitudes to receive your portion. This was a kingdom key in the color pink. Beloved, thank you that you've come to the foot spa today. You've come to receive revelation, just layers of his insight he wants to give you every day. Mysteries as part of our armor that we wear is singing in the spirit, praying in the spirit. <laughs> Beloved, he is so good that he wants to give you a new start and it's available for you to walk in, that you can step out. When your feet are shod, when you're at peace, you can go out and win the battle as you're fully equipped. Remembering verse 18, beloved, to pray in the spirit, to sing in the spirit at all times, all types of prayer. Let him give you a new song. Let him break through with secrets and mysteries. For he has a new adventure for you. We're going to exchange any bitterness at the oasis. Whew, that's Mara. It's a bitter water. At the foot spa oasis, we have sweet water, living water that we can step into, beloved. The Apostle Paul said, go to nations. He said, run your race, beloved. Don't just walk. Have a plan. Have a world map. I love world maps. Get your battle gear on. Stand firm. And after the battle that you're still standing, what is your territory? What is your ground? What is your family? What is your legacy? What does God want you to show your loved ones, beloved? It's very hard in blended families and families where there's been abandonment and rejection. At the oasis, there can be a renewal, a healing, a restoration of identity that you are his. He calls you his own. You can sit at the edge of the pool and you can dip your toes. You can test it out and know who that he loves you the water is revitalizing it's restoring they talk about respite care beloved it's not time to retire it's time to take the foot challenge it's time to be willing to receive the gift of his commission Go ye. How do you go if you don't travel? How do you go if you don't make the baby step? We often say, step into what we've just shared, a step of action, an acknowledgement. In business, the Lord says, don't despise small beginnings or a little bit of progress. It's an obedience to step in, even symbolically going, Lord, I want to move forward. Lord, I want to push through this invisible opposition. Beloved, pray in the Spirit. Sing new songs. Sing in the Spirit. Gather others together for breakthrough. For we're praying mysteries, and God knows them. God will put people in your path. He often talks about paths. To travel the path, you must walk. You must have your feet. Where will your feet tread? The Lord will direct you. There's humility in the foot washing. The word says that your steps are ordered. They're planned and on the path that you should go. 
and he can restore your feet. He can restore your foot health, your humility with his good news. Thank you, Lord. He wants you to have battle gear and your feet are the base. Your feet are the base shod with all the good news, all the promises in his word. He says, I am your mighty God. I delight to give you my word. Thank you, Lord. We receive that gift. It's a gift to gift you my word. Come to me often, beloved. I feel his presence so intensely as you're here to listen and to have your feet shod, to have them cared for. Let's protect the ground foundation of our faith and of our knowledge of him, of our obedience. Beloved, where do your feet go? Beloved, are there places that your feet shouldn't travel? Beloved, let's make a commitment today to be strengthened by his love, by his gift, that we don't go to those dark places. That's like being naked. You need your armor. You need to be clothed in a garment of praise. You need to be battle ready. Don't go to dark places, beloved. Don't walk out where the sinner goes, beloved. It should not be you are his child, his son. Trust me and rejoice for it is a gift, a gift that has been prepared. Step in, let us adventure together. Let us take the journey together. I make declaration of my love for you. Yes, I desire that none perish. And you, beloved, are my hands and feet. You are my mouthpiece. You carry my light and spirit to the world. If you can only donate for a mission to go to another country, beloved, you can go with your gifts, with your intercession. You can prepare the groundwork with your prayers, with your kindness, so that they see you coming with beautiful feet, with the delivery of a blessing, of help, of a way to release good news. He sends you to the lost around you. So right now, he's releasing an awareness, an increase of compassion in your hearts for the lost. He wants to journey with you together. Let us walk through life in partnership for the lost lambs. Who are the lost lambs, beloved? They're your friends, your loved ones. They are my lost lambs, says the Lord. You become a caregiver, the tender one to bring close to me, to be in the fold, the sheep fold, where there is protection free from harm. Thank you, Lord. A spiritual realm, a dimension is available for rescue of the lost and the dying. Thank you, Lord. Will you receive of your portion, your essentials and your tools provided? Beloved, will you walk out this commission? Will you get strong in your faith and your knowledge of the word and in the equipping of the tools needed to put on your gear of protection, of singing and praying in the spirit at all times, which is a weapon that makes the enemy tremble? Thank you, Lord. There's a dimension, a realm available 
for rescuing the lost and the dying. If you want to receive that right now, he is releasing it for you to go in love and kindness to all around you, to draw the sheep away from the slaughter. Step in, that's with your feet. You gotta step with your feet. Step in with divine plans whew, to rescue the perishing. Continuing your life with me and close to me, close to me, listening for my whispers, for my love prompts. The journey will be a divine adventure. Will you go on the adventure? Will you create your own challenge where you start? The hub of it is right there in your home, wherever you reside, right at your age, right at your health level, beloved. Who you will not go alone. This is an important commissioning to have beautiful feet. What can you do today to bring the sheep into the sheepfold where they're not sheep for the slaughter, where they're protected? Step in, make declaration of my truth. Declare for your household. Declare for the harvest. Whew, the Lord will hear and he will answer. I make a way in the dust, the ashes, the desert, the dry season. I release this night. I release as I'm speaking for him, beloved, his vessel, his messenger. I'm releasing rivers of living water whew, from my throne. We thank you, Lord. The oasis is all about the living water, the baptism by water, the baptism by fire. Thank you, Lord. These rivers that he's releasing to you, beloved, hold out your hands verbally, audibly, receive this beautiful gift. Who these waters refresh, renew, restore, revive, and rebuild. I declare it. Look for the evidence of life where there was death. Look for love. Look for fruit. <laughs> you are weak, but I am strong. We carry his light. We carry his spirit to the world, to the lost around us. Whew. He creates compassion, beloved. Will you gather your friends to pray in the spirit, to worship? Will you gather together to rejoice in his goodness, beloved? Will you care for your feet, for your foundation? Will you seek out the secrets and the mysteries? Will you run to be close? Will you gather with friends to soak in his presence, falling in love, leaning into him. Who, beloved, he has such love, such goodness in store for you. Yes, Lord, I marvel and I receive and I thank you that even as I'm called a senior, beloved, that you use us, that you hear our cries that we can hear your promptings, the slightest prompt. We love you, Lord. We declare our harvest field. Thank you that you allow Karen and I to be your messengers in video and in audio, in sensitivity, and we are expectant for the healing, for the multiplication, for those who are broken to be bound up. So we strengthen your feet. Let your feet be shod with peace at our oasis. 
and at God's secret place for you. Please visit often and thrive, beloved, in his deep love for you. Enjoy your foot spa, your foot care, your walk, your calling. We bless you. Thank you for liking and sharing this with someone that needs a touch. We love you.